Hello everyone, my name is Holly. I am the founder of Morning Mimosas, where we value criminal justice, healing, and education for the Black and minority communities. Now, today I wanted to come talk to you guys about justice and what justice is supposed to look like across the board. When I put Morning Mimosas back together Um, Late October, early November of 2022, I had already faced many, many injustices up until that point. And I decided that it's time to be someone in the community that actually makes effective change. So let's speak about justice, guys. There is millions and millions of people who do not have justice as we speak. And there's something that is completely unfair about that. I am very, very disheartened at these police departments who look at race as an issue that shouldn't be an issue, right? Um, There should be justice for all because we're all human. Um, I'd like to say that um, we all have the same purposes. It's the same two purposes, which is we live, we all live, and then we all die. So um, the fact that people look at race as why certain people don't get justice is absolutely absurd. Um, so I will probably talk about like a few cases throughout this segment. So just and you guys just bear with me because I'm coming from my heart and coming from a, a realistic perspective. Um, for people who sit there and you hear an argument next door and you hear what you hear is like a firework or, or, you know, a gunshot or somebody screaming. I completely understand why some people do not come forward and say anything, right? Obviously, there's the fear of retaliation or, well, that's, that's the big fear of retaliation. But I need people to stop being pussy um, call anonymously or something, you know? It just disheartens me when I watch different um, true crime episodes or when I listen to different true crime podcasts. And there's always that neighbor, yeah, I heard somebody screaming for dear help last night. And you didn't call the police? You could have saved that person. I don't forget it. It's a, what is that called? The bystander effect? But... People deserve to know what happened to their loved one. Their loved one also deserves true justice as well. It is absolutely absurd how people can be murdered at fights, parties, grocery stores, schools, home, the park, wherever. And you know, for the most part, those places are public and people don't see anything. Like I said, I get the bystander effect. I just don't fully agree with it. I, I, I trust me, people, when I say, I get why some people don't come forward, but I need you to put yourself in the shoes of the family. Like a lot of these families have met justice for 10 years, 20 years, 30. And it's all because you know something that happened during that time frame. And because of your because of your fear of retaliation, you've kept that information to yourself. It's not right. What about that grieving mother who lost her poor baby 10 years ago, 15 years ago? And she doesn't know what happened. There's truly no answers. How would you guys like to, if that was your family members that were going through that, 
I don't think you guys would like that. So I'm here today to tell people to stop being pussy and start coming forward. And yes, you guys are hearing me say that because that is P-U-S-S-Y behavior. It's time for people to get justice, guys. It's time for people to open their mouths. Yes, I can put the blame on the police as much as I can, right? You know, lack of caring, lack of resources or whatever, you know, excuses that they they have, including just not giving a fuck. But what about the people who were there that know something and have been hiding it for, like I said, 10, 15, 20, 30 years? I'm here to tell you, come forward. It's time. It's time for families to get the truth and it's time for them to fully heal. Like, I don't know if you guys truly understand what it's like for you guys to bury and or cremate your loved one and, and or if your loved one is missing or if your loved one was abducted or whatever eerie circumstance, you know, an eerie circumstance. You guys could just sit there, walk past that family, be in their face, say hi, knowing that you know something. When I say that absolutely hurts me, as a human being, it absolutely hurts me. That people can sit there knowing that they know something, but they can't come forward. My community, it is time for us to start coming together truly. In the name of love and justice and healing. Because it's time for people to start coming out of who they are. Come out of your selfishness and help the family heal, you know? don't know what more to say about that you know but you guys know I'm going to say more right it's time for people to truly start coming together and while I'm also on this um, point I want to speak to the black community right now There has been a lot of injustices that have been done to our community. Yet we still hurt and kill each other over trivial things, material things, things that don't matter. And yet we shout, you know, it's it's the white man, it's the white man. When do people start to take accountability for the things, I'm just gonna say the fucked up things that are done. It's 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 time for people to start being held accountable for that. Many people to start coming together. People are angry that George Zimmerman, you know, is still you know walking free, but yet you guys and I'm not insinuating anything, I, I wanna make that fucking clear. You guys don't, you know take the proper steps to take care of that. You know, Casey Anthony still walking free and we all know she unalived her daughter. Um, OJ Simpson, the list list goes on and on and on. Um, We need to be the people to come together. And now I'm speaking to just us as minorities. We need to be the people to come together and seek justice for for ourselves first. Because if other people don't care, we have to care. I can think that's why me and his father go so hard. What we go so hard for because we've just seen and also have you know a lot of injustices done to us and. It's time for people like us who have been through that to come into the community and start to make a change. You know, just like Tupac said, you know, it's time to make a change, you know? Um, 
And then he also said, some things will never change. But I'm here to tell you guys that we can change. Let's unify. Let's be one. Let's stop this fighting over things that don't matter. Let's stop this fighting over property that we don't own. Let's stop killing each other over property that we don't own. Or over things that other people have worked hard for. It's time for us to come together and be one. My final thought for this is do you guys see how strong we are when we're united? It is a beautiful thing. It is an absolutely beautiful thing when we are united. My thing is, why aren't people... I guess we're not ready for that, but I'm here to tell you guys it's time to get ready. It's time to get ready. Because things are going to change because they need to change. So I want you guys to please continue to follow me and Ms. Fatu during our criminal justice journeys. And the journeys to get us everything we tell you guys about on the podcast, which is criminal justice, healing, and educating our communities with one thing in mind, effective change, one person at a time. As you guys know, I am Holly, the founder of Morning Remosas, where we value criminal justice, healing, and education for the Black and minority communities. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening.